Hi, I'm Meg Snyder, editor of Pharmaceutical Processing. I am here with Russ Soma of Somatech LLC. It is end of day two of Interfex. So Russ, how was today? Interfex Live. I thought yesterday was a killer. I mean, today was even better. Uh, I gotta tell you, Meg, some of the topics that we had up on the sessions, they just built on each other. Continuous process continued to resonate with all of the folks here. Uh, single use technology. Uh, stuff was there. It was not only from the small molecule side, the biofarm guys all stood up. They had a lot to talk about. In fact, the amazing part was uh, the last topic we were on was facility upgrades and design. Believe it or not, single use came up as a forerunner there on how you drive facility upgrades. So yeah, I think we picked some of the best technology topics we had. It was, what a day. Very, very good. So for some of those repeat topics like continuous processing and single use technologies, were there some new questions or things discussed today that weren't uh, touched on yesterday? Well, I see the two differences. The con continuous process in the small molecule world is slightly different than it is in the, in, the, in the large molecule world. So what we did for our folks while we were talking was try to draw some analogies here. So we did get some questions in there for clarification. But other than that, it was like a new, new territory. It was fabulous. And one of the sessions today was on um, CMOs and controlled substances. What were some of the things that was discussed during that session? Well, the objective there, Meg, and, uh, Meg is that we tried to make sure that everybody was here, understood all of the pitfalls. So we had, we had owner companies, Pfizer was here, we talked about. That. We also had folks that are CMOs. And believe it or not, there are delays and problems that if you're not used to dealing with controlled substances, can create and derail a project as bad as, uh, you know, bad science. So we tried to make sure it was informative. We talked about regulations globally. Um, we got down to so far as the minutia of reading and checking people's lists to make sure that when you go to somebody, what you want to work on is on the guy's list. So yeah, we got into it. Okay. And we packed it into 45 minutes. Man, that sounds like a feat right there. <laughs> yeah, I ran out of breath. <laughs> And I know one of the other dis uh, discussions was on biosimilars. Uh, what were some of the questions or things that people were really interested in hearing about? The biosimilars that? was, one thing is we had, if you remember, we talked about it last year. Mm -hmm. And so we said, okay, so it's a year later. And lo and behold, there was a lot of stuff that was new. So yeah, it was a lot of new questions. Again, once we've defined it and we talked about the business process, we talked about who's doing what, what are business opportunities, what things people have to be. Uh, one of the aspects, and I think that was elevated up, was what skill sets, <clears throat> what skill sets do you have to have if you, you, know, you just don't casually walk into this? Who do you have to hire to make this happen? And believe it or not, it got back to continuous process and and uh, single use. If Hot, you can topic. Hot topic. Hot topic of 2016. I couldn't shake it. I couldn't <laughs> shake it. <laughs> now, as far as, you know, um, audience interaction and interest, what were some of the most interesting um, beyond continuous processing uh, topics to the audience? Like, what did they want to hear and talk about? What was the best received today? I think one of the things was on facility design. What can we as an industry do to move things ahead? Are we actually leveraging our knowledge from the past? It's incredible because this builds on things that you and I have talked about in the past, which is quality by design. Mm -hmm. Not so sure we got that connection, but certainly I made it. So we, I made sure that we asked the questions in that area. Again, knowledge, institutionalization, understanding of processes to that point. So it was, it was good. And I bet you for facility design, there's going to be discussions about um, serialization and implementing these new technologies into these facilities. Was, um, you know, how, how was that, that kind of discussion today? Well, the serialization, that discussion was particularly interesting because at, as in the controlled substances, there are hidden delays in there which people don't anticipate. Mm -hmm. You know, there's months worth of set, set up, there's regulations you have to fulfill, but more importantly, you got to get the you got to get the organ the business structure around these things, mm -hmm. and I think there was a lot of uh, oh my gods here because it was actually our, the regulatory deadline is November of next year. So That's I think there right. was a, a so we did our job. We made sure they were aware of it. We got the news out, but okay. there was a lot of good information exchanged on that. So. Yeah, and with the ultimate deadline of 2023, we got to get things moving. Well, huh? we, we try to ease them into it. Like, you know, this isn't okay. track and trace. It's more serialization. But okay. I think the oh, my God was there. You know? Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. We're it looking forward a, to a great day three tomorrow. It was a, it was a blast. Thanks, Meg. Thanks. Bye.